Jessica Sporn here. I have found it so helpful to watch um, people's process as they paint faces on YouTube, so I thought I would share my process. Um, I started out here with a page in my journal that had collage from just scraps on my desk. Uh, you can see the picture I'm using for a reference. And I just start out loosely sketching with my paintbrush and some acrylic paint. And sketching this way doesn't allow me to be too careful and I have to kind of just let it go with some abandon knowing that I can always um, correct things and fix them up later. So I'm just doing some little bits of measurements here and I have to say that I have um, taken face painting classes with both Pam Carricker and Jody Ohl, and they both taught me so much, and uh, I'm using their wisdom in uh, my process here. I mixed up some darks and some lights on my palette, and I'm just blocking in um, the light, really. I'm trying not to paint features so much as to paint light and shadows. I use my fingers a lot for blending and I just keep going back and forth between the um, lights and the darks, um, moving the paint around going back and forth to my reference photo and just to the page itself. Sometimes you have to let the photo go and just go with what feels right to you. admire people who use blues and greens in their face painting. I tend to stick to pretty traditional um, flesh colors. just using some portfolio pastels to get some softer highlights and uh, shading here. And then I'm cutting up one of these pieces of um, card that cards that you get behind stamps. I like to use those or paint chips um, to lay paint down. It's kind of like using a palette knife, but I find it easier, easier to control. And I learned that from Cindy Wunsch.
I decided I wanted my lady to have a flower in her hair and um, by now it was getting kind of late and so I pulled out this really cool starfish stencil by Judy Faf Daily from Stencil Girl Products and I think um, one of those starfish looks so much like a flower in her hair. Oh, look who's here. It sprinkles my cat. Uh, so I, I use the stencil as an outline and then I'm just loosely mixing paint onto my page um, with a brush and here is Sprinkles who likes to sometimes lie in the most inconvenient places. Now I'm uh, spreading some green paint into the background with my little piece of cardboard, plastic coated cardboard, very handy. In other videos I've talked about the benefits of a messy workspace and one of them is having pieces of newsprint lying around that have paint and marks on them and they make great backgrounds if you want to print or uh, stamp a quote. This one says, strength doesn't come from what you can do, it comes from overcoming the things you once thought you couldn't. I hope this video is helpful to you and if you decide to paint a portrait. I know the videos I've watched on YouTube have been so helpful to me. Please feel free to share this video and visit me at my blog. Thanks! Bye!